All right, groups, if you're just joining us here in Onyx, uh, in the basics of Onyx playlist here on YouTube, thank you for coming. Check out the uh, full playlist, by the way, below. And in this video, we're talking about using groups, creating and using groups, because groups allow us to, instead of having to select our lights one at a time or pull up our keypad right here to select a, a selection of lights, we're able to just press a simple button and get a group called back that we've previously defined. Now a group can be any selection of fixtures. It can be fixtures of the same type, fixtures maybe from the same truss, or just a random selection that you choose to use within your show, okay? And so with that understanding forward, let's go ahead and, and build our first group. So in our fixtures and presets tab, we see here that we've got fixtures and we've got groups. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got these color choruses selected, so I'm just gonna pop up my command keypad and press clear. Now, if you're following along on an NX Touch or any of the other consoles, you've got a physical clear key in front of you. So make use of that. You don't have to pop this window up. Now we'll go ahead and we'll just select some lights. Let's go ahead maybe and select these first six, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and press record, go to my groups tab, press a group, call it Lico's. Okay, so once I've pressed record and pressed that group, I can just type and we see here in our command line that it gives the, the name that I've put in there, press enter, the group changes to that name. If at any point I'm selecting and deselecting that group and I wanna change the name, boom, just type and enter, you're good to go. Okay, now let's go ahead and build our next group here, okay? So this time I'm gonna go actually to the auto groups just to cheat and grab my Da Vinci's, go over to groups, press record, boom. Killer. Awesome, I didn't spell it great, but that's okay. I hope he's not offended. Now we'll go ahead and um, I wanna show you one more thing with groups before we go to presets. And that is the masks that are available here, okay? Now the masks are part of grouping tools and I actually go deeper in one of the bonus videos that I have, you can check those out here. But the grouping tools allow you to grab different selections of lights really, really quickly. Just as an example, if I select these Da Vinci's and I do a mask of every two and I go look at my 2D plan, I can see here, especially if I turn on highlight, which just opens the light up to white and allows you to see it brightly, I can see here that even though all 11 of these are selected, half of them are active, every other light. And then if I press next, I actually get the other half selected, okay? And so this is a really powerful way to build some different setups. And as we're recording groups here, actually, we'll go ahead and we can actually, at this point, with the grouping every two selected, it's up here in the top, it's here on the masks, it's many places. We can actually record that into a group and give it a name. And we see our every two filter is here at the top. And so that's just a little extra tidbit there that uh, I haven't gone over in the past in these videos, but it's a cool way to be able to record extra groups that'll help you find uh, combinations of lights even faster. And we'll show you why in a minute. Now, while we're here, that's the basics of groups. It really is that simple. We're gonna go ahead and save. So I'm gonna press Control S here, or I can go to Onyx, go to save. Now I have two options with or without content. If you've brought in custom content to Dialos, you'll go with with, if not, you'll go with without. Though being as we haven't brought any content in, it truly doesn't matter. And we'll press save. Now when we do save, you may have noticed there, I'll do it again. We get a number of things. We get the show name and we also get the date we get the time, we get the uh, file, the software version as well. And so you can save as much as you want and it always saves as a different backup. It always gives it that time code. So if you do need to go back, if you get a couple hours down the road and you say, I wanna back up, I wanna go back where I was, you can totally, totally do that as well. Awesome guys. With that, check out my guide, my free bonus videos on Onyx, how to really supercharge Onyx and get going with it. We've got those here at this link. And in our next video, we're gonna talk about using presets in Onyx, walk you through everything you need to know 
and uh, why presets are so important as we begin to build our first cues. I'll see you guys there. Full link to the playlist is below.